Hey friends, this is how you play Don't Break the Bank. You're gonna need a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker, a game sheet, a paper clip, and a pencil to hold your paper clip in place. I'm using a pen. You can play either side of this game. This side has the amounts in decimal form in the spinner, and this side has the names of the coins in the spinner. The directions are on the game in case you forget them. Place a paper clip in the center of the spinner and hold it in place with the tip of a pencil. So I'm going to put my paper clip here and hold it in place by putting my pencil right on that dot. Spin the paper clip, place the coin you land it on into the bank. I'm going to spin it. Ooh, I landed on a hammer. I'll get to that in a second. Let me spin again. All right, I landed on a penny. So I'm going to put a penny in my bank. I'm going to draw a picture of a penny. You could also use pennies from the piggy bank in class. Keep spinning and adding coins. So I'm gonna spin again. And if you're playing with a partner, you can take turns spinning. Now I have a dime. So I'm gonna draw my dime in my piggy bank. All right, so I can add them together. Now I have 10, 11 cents. So I'm gonna keep spinning until I land on the hammer three times. So my first spin, I actually landed on the hammer. I'm gonna keep a tally in the corner that I landed on the hammer once. Watch out for the hammer. If you land on it three times, the bank breaks and you lose all of your coins. So you'd have to get rid of all those coins you had. Count to see how much money was in the bank when it broke. So once you hit that hammer three times, count up and see how much money you had in the bank before it broke. And then you can play again. That's how you play.